Hey guys, Spunky here with another martial arts video. This month is Women's Month, and some <laughs> is outside cutting the grass while I'm trying to record. But we are going to talk about Yonamine Tsuru today, um, one of my favorite Okinawan martial artists, and uh, also a woman. Which is you get it? It's the Women's Month, and we're doing the, it's we're doing a woman. Respectfully. Anyway, Yonamine Chiru was an Okinawan martial artist in the 1800s and the wife of Matsumoto Sokan. Nicknamed Tsuru san, Crane, or Yonamine Nobushi Tsuru, Yonamine the Crane Warrior. Badass. She was well regarded as an Okinawan sumo wrestler and considered a tomboy for her love of fighting. She may have had a hand in developing the Matsumoto Orthodox version of the Kata Seizan which is said by the Takeryu Karate Do Association to allow women to fight with babies on their backs, which is not um, recommended. But if you got it, if you got it, if, hey, if you're taking kids to the park, some thug pops out and you got your baby on your back, guess what? You're going to be fine. In addition to her studies of sumo wrestling and tagumi, she was also known for her skills with weightlifting. She was the daughter of a wealthy business owner and came from a prominent martial arts family, but she couldn't find a spouse because of her love of fighting. As she aged, her parents increasingly raised the dowry to marry her. Like, you know, the dowry meaning like the incentives um, for her to get married. But the package deal of Yonamine, okay? And this is something that they did back in the day, you know, hey, you're gonna put baby in my in my in this lady, and I'll give you like a hot dog stand or something. Is yeah. anyway, her parents raised the dowry so much because they were like, ah, you need to get married. You're gonna be an old cat lady who's just like you know doing karate in the backyard. Um, but she actually found few takers until Matsumura learned about her. And today we're gonna talk about that. Yonamine Tsuru and Matsumura Sokan meeting for the first time. From the age of about 16 or 17, Tsuru's reputation as a beautiful young woman became known throughout the kingdom and as far away as Naha. One evening, as Tsuru was walking around the edge of town, she encountered a thug who tried to attack her. Fortunately, she managed to escape without being harmed, but decided after that mishap to ask her parents if she could learn the martial arts. Accepted as an understudy to a famous teacher, Tsuru trained diligently and ultimately progressed to a level superior to almost any man. In fact, her teacher maintained that the only boy in the kingdom that she could not defeat was the son of Matsumura. In those days, Dokio Dameshi, Ude Dameshi, Kake Dameshi was this practice um, where people would cross hands. I believe in some iterations it means crossing hands and it's related to Chisao the kung fu practice of sticky hands and you know if you're gonna participate in a kakadameshi match you know you cross hands with the guy and then you just <laughs> get into it right dokyo dameshi was a popular trend among young martial artists wanting to test themselves and sudo had no reason to believe that she couldn't partake in such challenges the best location however for no hold barred styled fighting was the red light district of naha Young men from Shuri used to commute there every night just for the purpose of having fun and testing themselves. With few houses between the two towns, young men from Shuri easily made the journey downhill to Naha. Lying in wait between Shuri and Naha, Yonami Neitsuru often challenged any responsive young martial artist who would accept the invitation and never lost a single bout. Her reputation spread quickly, frightening cowards and provoking challenges from both confident young men and fools alike. Defeating them all, no one could win against Suru. Hearing about her, young Matsumura sensei couldn't believe that a female could be stronger than a male and decided to issue a challenge. With his own reputation at stake, he quickly discovered that she was more than just a handful. Having great difficulty trying to hold on to her, he was nearly thrown himself. If that wasn't enough of a surprise, the final shock must have been when she clutched his hand and cheerfully proposed marriage to him. As strong as young Matsumura Sensei was, he stood speechless in front of his opponent, finding her beauty and spirit irresistible. After they were married, Matsumura was often worried about her habit of walking home alone at night, and so he pretended to be a thief to scare her. However, she managed to best him in combat and tie him to a tree before realizing it was her husband. Gichin Funakoshi writes, 
I met the rightful grandson to the Matsumura family who, by the way, is still alive and the same age as I. And we discussed his grandmother's ability. In recollection, he said, in those days, our house was a brewery. And whenever extra rice bags could not be stored in the warehouse, I often saw her lift straw rice bags with only one hand as she swept with a broom in her other hand. Judging from this story, it would appear as if Suru never stopped training. And that's the story of the meeting of Matsumura Sokan and Yonamine Tsuru, one of the most powerful martial artists from Okinawa, and a woman. Happy Women's Month, and yeah, do, do all this stuff, you know, click the little like button down there, click the little red button if you want to hear more martial arts stories and history. Do all this stuff. Put a comment of your favorite female martial artist from legend from, you know, way back in the day all the way until the modern day. I would love to hear you guys' takes and love to learn about more powerful women um, because hopefully we're going to have another, at least one more video come out this month uh, during Women's Month um, about a female martial artist that I'm really, really excited about. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, yeah, get the, you go, get Go do something. Watch some other stuff. There's there. I'll be putting stuff. There'll be stuff. Click it. Or go do something else. I don't know. See ya.